What's up everybody from YouTube today? It is your boy Connor from 72 Decks and Dot Degrees. I am very excited to be back here with another two new deck profile. Um, first and foremost, um, I just do want to say that I am very thankful for how much recognition my first two video has gone up. I've actually noticed that around YouTube there isn't a lot of two, two deck profiles, so I think I'm just going to keep making these. Um, because, I mean, why not? Um, uh, it's a way for you guys to be able to see how tunes can change through metas. Um, I, I'm just a big fan of them. Um, my first locals, it did very bad. I actually didn't want to match with um, tunes. Once some games, wasn't able to ever want to match. This weekend made um, very big changes to my main deck and was able to do very, very, very well. Um, I didn't, uh, what you call it, do an overall positive record. I got two and three. Um, but considering that it's only my second locals ever, I was very happy with my results. Um, and I actually believe that I've made some changes now to the point where this deck could actually have a chance to top cut next weekend. So anyway, let's get further to it. Um, I also noticed that my last video was really long, so um, I'm going to make sure to cut down on that, this uh, this uh, video. Anyway, let's get to the video of the Toon Dick profile. Anyway, so as you guys can see, um, I was actually able to pick up a Maximilian Pegasus token. Really happy about that. <laughs> it's like one of the big things I uh, was, was looking for this deck. Um, let's start it off. Three um, Toon BLS. I mean, this card is very obvious why you would have it in there. Um, pretty much can just uh, easily special summon in the world uh, to the field when you have two uh, two kingdom on field just by uh, sending cards to the grave um, equal to eight levels or more. Um, also, this card has a nice little banish effect um, if you choose not to attack of it, which I actually did a lot this weekend. Very good effect. Um, yeah, so a very fire card, definitely a card you would need to three in this deck. Um, two dark magician at two. Um, I don't know if it was last uh deck profile that i had at three but i did have this card at three at one point and i don't recommend that um it's a brick if you see it in hand but very fire if you're able to special summon it off a of page flip that's usually when the when the card's really good or by special summoning off with this card but i tune um yeah so i keep this card at three specifically for the fact that uh or excuse me at two uh specifically for the fact that um red eyes tune you don't ever need to see it in your hand because you're already running uh black Sun legend at three um you're able to easily um see this this card pretty much every turn, um, meaning that you can special summon another tune monster like tune BLS or tune dark position from your hand. Um, next up, I cut the tune mermaid um, from my last deck profile and decided to run three tune harpy lady. The reason I'm doing that is because tune harpy lady um, can normal summon the field without tune kingdom, which is very fire if you're trying to um, you know get some cards in hand that can help you for uh, the longer the duel um, because they out your kingdom could make the duel a little bit tougher to win, uh, but. Uh, all in all, um, Tune Harpy Lady uh, can slow down your opponent a little bit and ma make your hand a little bit stronger. Um, next, I'm running three Blackstone Legend. I was running this card at one. That was a horrible mistake um, on my part. Don't ever do that. Um, so yeah, the other thing you guys can see is that, yes, I am not running two Dark Magician Girl. Horrible idea. I should have never even thought about that. Um, but the nice thing is, is that the Blackstone Legend easily able to go into Link Karibo if you need to, or of course there's activated its effect to be able to summon, special summon Red Eyes Tune from deck. That's why um, I keep Red Eyes Tune at two and don't need it at any more. Even though it is a card I usually go into Dragoon, I don't think it's a card that you really need at three. Um, next up, Artifact Lancia. I, I believe right now it's the far, most fire card in the uh, meta. Uh, excuse me, the hand most fire hand trap of the meta. I don't really see the point of putting this card at anything less than three. There's so many decks that rely on their banish pile in order to activate their abilities. I don't think there would be any reason you would not have this card in your main deck right now. Um, if this card doesn't get hit, keep it in there because there's so many decks that need that banish pile. Uh, next up, we have two nib. Two nib. Um, I'm running nib in the ma main deck as a comic hand. I think um, if you're able to summon nib at the right time, um, and be able to steal in a bureau token, be able to attack for game. It's actually makes the deck duel really easy. I actually want to want a uh, match this weekend by doing that. Um, I cut one eater of millions and now I'm running this card at two. Um, this card isn't a card you always need to see, but when you do see it, it's very fire. Um, opponent's not usually expecting it most of the time. It can protect itself during the damage step by banishing the card it battles with, even though you'll take the damage, who really cares? Um, and then I'm running the one brick, uh, Dark Magician. Very obvious why I'm running that, don't really need to explain it. Um, now we're going on to the spells, so we have Toon Kingdom. We're running Toon Kingdom at three, very obvious why. Um, most fire, most um, generic card be able to get into everything in your deck. Um, next up, Toon Bookmark. 
But um, after running this deck for about a month now, um, I do believe that this is the most fire spell, uh, spell card in the deck, only because you can protect your kingdom from the de um, from the graveyard, and also uh, it makes it very e it makes it very easy to go to Comic Con or even Tune Harvey Lady when you need it. Uh, next up, Tune Page Flip at three, very obvious choice. Tune Page Flip uh, target three monsters with uh, two monsters with different names where you control tune world um and your opponent has to pick one to special summon um in that case really depending on your hand um this card if you special summon a red eyes tune or you have a red eyes tune in hand could make things a little bit difficult but it doesn't make things too difficult um tune page flip overall is a very fire card um i for whatever reason i typically special summon bls every time off of this card it's really funny um which i never have a problem with um Tune Table of Contents at three. I mean, this card just adds any tune card from deck to hand. Very, uh, very generic, very good. Um, Comic Can at three. In our type, Snatch Shield. If Snatch Shield was at three, I think everybody would be running that card at three. So no reason to not run that card at three. Um, next, I'm running two Prosperity. Um, the reason you run this card over Extravagance is because I think in this deck, Prosperity is just an Extravagance on steroids. Um, there's no reason, there's no reason for uh, people to what you call it um there's no reason for uh people to run extrav you have this card especially in tunes um specifically because of the fact that you, you can pick the monsters you want to banish and with your extra deck sometimes there are some cards you definitely don't want to banish like credit verde and a condor or tribune so that's, that's actually why i bumped those cards up to two um in my extra deck um very um lit card you can pick the cards you want to banish and you can also pick the one card you need to add to your hand so very fire um, next up, uh, White Joe Waddle is being very nice, letting me borrow his Triple T. Yes, sir. Um, Triple T, I mean, shit, I really don't know what to say about this card. Oh, your Dragoon um, is very pretty. How about I take it from you? Um, Triple T is, um, very, very good. Um, I mean, there's a lot of decks, like Drytrons especially, that are activating effects, uh, during your turn, my ultimus um it really sucks sometimes so using triple t to get around that is very 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 good um you can steal that ultimus and fuck what are they going to do you could also activate comic can on their vanity's ruler so now they're faced with the board they just set up how, how really many times funny. did you see triple t this weekend um i saw it uh once in a duel and the one time i saw it in a duel it actually won me it um, they summoned Dragoon, activated Dragoon, and then I activated Triple T. Oh, God. Yeah. Um, was able to add... Well, I activated its draw two effect because I can't, add, um, target, uh, Dragoon. I can't steal it, uh, with the stash shield effect. Um, but in that case, I was able to draw Bookmark and Page Flip, and that's really all I needed to win that duel. Um, next up... Yeah, get ready. The reason I'm running this deck is, oh, the oh, reason I'm running the man. The reason really I'm running this card is actually very important. Uh, very, very, uh, for two specific reasons. One, it's fucking hilarious. For two, um, if your kingdom gets sent off the field, uh, Mystic Mind is a beautiful card to have on the field because if they spend all their time trying to out fucking Toon Kingdom. And they have no other cards to be able to destroy like field spells or uh, field spells or stuff like that. As are you mine, what the fuck are they gonna do? Nothing. You really only need one card on field, and that's Dragoon. Or you're one of your two monsters. Really, you don't need much. You really don't need much. Anyway, um, next up, HFD at one. Uh yeah, I think it's very very um reasonable to put at one right now in the main deck, especially because El is a deck. I mean, um just go you go uh you go turn you go second. Uh, they set all the traps, activate HFD, they can't even really activate them. Um, next up, Rest Fusion, don't really need to explain that. Then I'm running uh, two trap cards right now. I'm also going to be picking up Toon Briefcase soon. I think that card's going to make this deck really spicy. Um, Toon Terror. Uh, uh, the reason I'm actually putting this card in my deck is because um, it out to Arsenal. And that's, I mean... You guys can go to my other video if you really want to watch that. Really, um, I think you guys would get a laugh at, out of it. But yeah, fuck Arsenal. Um, so that's why I run that card. And then I'm also running Metaverse. Um, the reason I'm running Metaverse over Terraforming is because Metavor Metaverse for me, I think is better when a when during my opponent's turn he outs Kingdom. You activate Metaverse and you can either set Mystic Mine or set Kingdom. Honestly, uh, in most cases I would probably rather like activate Mystic Mine from deck. Um, 
because, I mean, they can't activate their monster effects during that turn. And then your turn, you can just send it off the field for Kingdom and you'll be fine. Also, this card can't be Ashed, which is also a very, is also another reason why I'm running this card over Terraforming. Um, so yeah, that's going to go in to complete the main deck. Um, I believe this main deck is much better than what it was the last time I was running this deck. So yeah, um, I'm really excited to see what this deck can do next weekend as I have made some changes to it. Um, How many cards in the main are you running? 44. 44. Um, so 44 because um, I don't think with Toon specifically, uh, I felt like I was selling myself short running the deck at 40. Um, I okay. think I think you need to add some uh, cards for the meta specifically, like add Artifact Lancia, um, that make the deck way more playable. Um, because, I mean, if you can't stop them from using their Banish Pile, it could make things a little bit rough. Um, anyway, so the generic card in here, we're running 2 Dragoon. Um, very important card to be running right now. Um, I mean... You can go look at YGO Waddle's um, new Elzush video. Um, he explains it really well. Dragoon is just really broken and it's very unfair. Um, and if you can act, if you can summon it, why the hell wouldn't you? Um, next, I'm running Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon. Um, very fire card uh, when it's special summoned. Um, you can target one fire, one attack position monster your opponent controls and shuffle it back, um, which is very fire. Um, next up. Oh wait, it might not be shuffled it back. Like, excuse me. Um, return to the hand. Excuse me. Um, but still, there was card would be off field, and you wouldn't have to worry about it. Like for example, you could uh, send, you can summon this, and um, what you call it? Send one of their big monsters off the field. Like so I know a lot of people are running Super Dreadnought. That's killing a lot of people right now. So you can definitely send Super Dreadnought off the field with this. Um, two Anaconda, very far. Um, don't really need to explain it. I'm also running Nightmare Phoenix and Nightmare Unicorn. Um, the reason I'm running both of these is because they work very well in two different situations. I can also use both of these to go into Access Code Talker. Um, just by activating both of their effects, go into Access Code Talker, and then the, the opponent really doesn't have an answer for that, which is a very fire fire thing to do. Um, Link Rebo. Um, don't make it too often, but I do make it when I need to, just to slow down my opponent a little bit. Um, and then Cross Chief. Um, Cross Chief was actually a last minute add for me, and I'm actually very glad I added it because the Odd Eyes Vortex combo play was very fire with Cross Chief. Um, next up, we're running Big Eye. In the duels that I use Big Eye, I won every single time because they don't, because the people kind of forget about this card and don't really know how to out it. Um, Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon, I'm actually thinking about cutting this card because the times I did summon it, it kind of screwed me when I had Toon Kingdom on field. Um, I think it would just be better to sit on my Toon Monsters and sit on Red Eyes Flare, even though Red Eyes does burn for 500 each time you activate an effect. The sooner the po your opponent gets that card off field, it doesn't really matter. Um, Odd Eyes Absolute Dragon, this card you go into first for the Odd Eyes, um, play. Uh, ready after Ultimate Falcon, I'll explain why I'm running this card in a second. It'll make more sense once I go into my side deck. And then Dean Kiersu. Um, Dean Kiersu, uh, this is a card that definitely could be cut. I just really don't know what other card I could be running in the extra deck. Um, and I would love to be here, hear from you guys, what you guys think about that. Um, but yeah, that's going to complete the extra deck. And then we're going to go into the side deck, which in my opinion, uh, won me, which is one won me the, uh, two matches over the weekend. Um, so Ash Blossom at three. Don't have to mean it right now because I don't think it's the I don't think it's the best hand trap in the game right now. Um, however, it will generically be the best hand trap once the meta changes. Um, so once the car once the meta changes, I say put that card back into the main deck and take out Artifact Lancia. Um, next up, I added this card to my um, I added this card to my uh, side deck this weekend. Radiant. Um, Unfortunately, the times I actually did see it, it kind of screwed me because I could only see one in hand. If you see two in hand, you special summon one to your opponent's field. You can also special summon one for your hand. Um, next up, so I'm running Prohibition specifically for people who aren't subscribed to my channel, like Eldritch players, um, because <laughs> um, because like I really don't like Gold Boy. You Prohibition, they're Gold Boy. What the hell are they gonna do? They can't even activate the trap cards. Yeah, you can't even activate Sanguine in response to that because it can't be on field. Um, Dark Roller no more because uh, fuck Virtual World. 
And then this is why I run Radio Astro Ultimate Falcon, is Waking the Dragon. If you guys have no idea what Waking the Dragon is, pick that card up now because Divine Arsenal is going to be in the game for at least the next year. Um, this is a card um, is destroyed by, is sent to the graveyard by your opponent's card effect. Um, you can special summon immediately one card from the extra deck. I actually, um, my first tournament, one of the only duels I won that day, um, I set both of these. And he activated Twin Twisters to destroy both of them. And I ended up on a board that looked like that, that, and Eater of Millions. I don't really know what he was going to do about that. He pretty much just flipped and said, yeah, game three. Um, so, yeah, that card is absolutely fire, it divine, with, uh, with, especially if you know someone's running Divine Arsenal. Solemn Strike specifically to stop the Zodiac Normal Summon. Um, I definitely think this card is super fire. Um, I would rather be running Judgment, uh, to be honest, um, if I had it. Um, but the other thing I also like about uh, Solemn Strike is that you don't really have to pay a lot of life points in order to activate it. Um, sometimes Solemn Judgment with the half life points thing. I get it. It's still half your life points. Even you go from 8,000 to 4,000. But still, I think I would rather have a card that can that can activate um, for fifteen hundred points of damage, especially when usually when I lose my duels, I get OTK'd anyway. Um, and then the one, and then I'm running one uh, trap card, dimensional barrier, um, specifically against Rytrons, um, because I don't because their original monsters are absolutely ridiculous. If they set up Vanity's ruler, I really don't care. Um, but if they keep going into ultimates, that's the card I really can't out. So that's the uh, that's why I have this card in here. Alrighty, any changes for the main deck or side that you might be considering uh, for this weekend? Yeah. Um. So the only thing I'm really considering is is that is actually dropping some monsters and going to uh, a more trap heavy reliant deck. I think the way this meta is being played. Cards, decks that have a lot of trap cards being played right now, really fire. Um, Shadals, Eldritch, um, really good decks right now um, that are being played. And I think with Briefcase also, adding Briefcase, um, it can out Dragoon every single time because Dragoon, um, gets, Dragoon gets shuffled back into the deck. Yeah, and it doesn't target either, yeah. so it, it just gets shuffled back. Yeah, so... I mean, they can negate the activation, but I mean... I mean, but if they do, but that's the other reason. That's the other reason I'm saying that because I'm all. I would also run three tune terror. Yeah, exactly. So if I have like four, if I have four in my back row, yeah, right, or, or just like care. one or two, I, yeah. I don't care. Yeah, you know, that's so, fair. Because dude, they activate your goon, I activate tune terror. Yeah, I mean that seems pretty logical to me. Yeah. All so, right. Um, yeah. Anyway, um, I believe that tunes um, that this tune deck profile is much much more equipped. And it was the first time, and I'm really excited to work, see where I can take this deck. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in for another Tune Deck pro Profile. I will make sure to catch up with you guys next week. Thank you for tuning in to 72 Degrees. I am Connor, signing out.